Hey guys, how's it going today? So today we're going to build another cool little project where what we're going to do is we're going to look at a contact list. So if you've got a contact list sitting somewhere in Excel or if you have it sitting somewhere in even your emails, you can always export it as a CSV file. And what we want to do is we want to use this Excel file to send personalized emails. Now you may be wondering, I can send a mass email to a whole bunch of people just through my Gmail or through my Hotmail or whatever it is. But what you can't really do in those scenarios is you can't send personalized emails. And that is, I want to be able to grab things like their name for each email address and their address and any other information you may have about them. So let me go ahead and give you a demo and then we'll walk through the code and you'll see what I'm talking about. So what I've got set up here is I've got three different temporary emails that I've just put in. And you'll see these emails actually coincide with what I had in my Excel spreadsheet. So if I just bring this down, you see that matches this email. Uh, this one matches that email and the last one matches as well. And what I want to do is I want to show an example. When I actually go ahead and send a customized email, what I want the email to say is, hey, grab their first name out of this and then confirm their address to see whether it's the correct address or not. And it's automatically going to send to the right email address because, well, that's how we wrote our script. So let me go ahead and give you a demo of the way this works. So if you see, if I just go down below here, I've got no emails in any of these. So let's just keep this down here so that you'll see them pop in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my script and I've called it emailer.py and we'll walk through how it works. So I've just went and hit and ran it and now it's actually confirming to me that, hey, I've sent something to John Smith, Mark Adams, as well as Jason Park. And what you've seen here is you see, well, one of them have come in, the next one's coming in and the last one came in. And so what I should be able to see, it should say, hey, John, and then confirm John's address. So let's go ahead and click all of these to see if that is in fact what it did. So I'm just going to scroll down here and it says, hey, John, how's it going? I just wanted to confirm your information. Are you still at 123 Green Avenue? So if I bring my spreadsheet up, John is in fact at 123 Green Avenue. Mark should be at 345 Red Avenue and Jason at 567 Blue. So let's go ahead and see what this one is. Uh, this one is should be going to Mark. It says, hey, Mark, how's it going? I just wanted to confirm your address. Are you still at 345 Red Avenue? And finally, let's go ahead and bring the last one in. And so Jason should be at 567 Blue Street. And when I go down, it says, hey, Jason, how's it going? I just wanted to confirm your information. Are you still at 567 Blue Street? Now, again, this is a really cool thing. So if you're thinking about, you know, how would I use this? Think of services like email marketing that charge you $20, $30, $40 uh, a month. You can actually go ahead and build a simple script. And as you see these emails come in, these are what I would call very simplified emails. You can go ahead in your Python script and even add in some HTML code if you want. All right, so let me show you how this works. Let me bring over this file structure here. What I've done here is this is the original XLSX file that I have. This has my contact information. And then I set a file called emailer.py, which is my main file, and then secrets.py. So I won't open secrets.py because it has the actual credentials to my email, but I'll show you secrets copy and show you what that's supposed to look like. So I'll open in Sublime Text. What you'll see here is I've just written a function and I said define my cred credentials. Username, you just put your username in here and you just put your password in here. And you're going to return a tuple, which is going to be username and password. So let me go ahead and close this out. And let's go to the main file, emailer.py. And to be honest, it's a very simple script. There's so many um, ways you can send these emails. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through the script. So I'm importing a few libraries. I'm importing pandas, uh, smtlib, uh, SSL for secure socket layer. Um, I'm going ahead and I'm also importing this uh, library as well. And I'll walk you through what that means below. And then finally, I'm importing my secrets file, which is sitting in the same folder. Uh, and I'm going from secrets import my cred. So first thing first, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and bringing all this information in into a uh, pandas data frame. Um, I'm also going ahead from my secrets file and I'm pulling my password. So remember that it's going to return a tuple. First, it's going to return my username. And then the second one, second element is going to be my password. So that's why I have one there. And so this is just pulling my password from that file. So I just write a simple for loop. And I'm constraining it to the number of entries I have in my contacts, which is three in this case. And I'm unpacking, this is called unpacking, my uh, contacts data frame. 
And what I'm really doing is I'm saying, iterate through every single one of those rows. And because there's three columns, unpack name, email, and address. Google tells us we need to use port 465 for SSL. That is the SMT server name. Now this is where we're gonna use uh, the multi-part messaging. You're gonna define a variable here, and then you're gonna break your message up into different components. You're gonna say, okay, well, what's the from? In this case, it's my email address. That is, that's where I'm sending it from. I'm gonna be sending it to email, and remember, it's pulling email from the contact sheet, and that is gonna be the email address of the individual. And then you're gonna go ahead and define your subject. And then finally, I said, hey, return the first name. How's it going? I just wanted to confirm your information. Are you still at so-and-so? And first and foremost, it's gonna go ahead and grab your first name, and then it's gonna grab your address. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach that message as plain text. And this is where I said you can go ahead and also look at seeing how you could add in an HTML code. You're just gonna be writing a little bit more code below. And you can craft some really nice templates. And there's a lot of those examples online. Finally, you're gonna go ahead and take this entire message, pack it as a string, um, and then you're gonna go ahead and open your SSL connection, pass in your SMT server, your port, um, and then your context here. You're gonna define that as server, and then you're gonna go ahead and log in with your username and password, um, and then you're gonna go ahead and send the email. I mean, it's really that simple. And then what I've done here is I've written something called send to so that it knows, so that I know as a user who it's sending it to. And then finally, I just wanted to tell me, hey, listen, you've printed it and you're done. And uh, that's really how simple it is. So this was a quick little tutorial uh, for you guys to go ahead and tinker with this. If you have seen some of my other tutorials on creating Excel reports um, using some automation, you can always tack this on at the end. Go ahead in your Google spreadsheet or into your Excel spreadsheet or whatever you've got open. You can put the contact's name internally, like let's say it's a, some kind of a stakeholder who needs a report. You can define their email address and you can create a job to say that every single time a specific report runs, whether it's a specific department, you can write department here. As long as the two departments match, email it to that person when that report is done. And so if you are interested to see some of those uh, automation reports that I created, I'll link them up above, I'll link the playlist so that you can see it from start to finish. I've created a few what I would call Excel hacks that I think would be uh, beneficial for you guys to take a look at. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's supposed to be a quick one just to give you some insight on how to go ahead and send email. Now, the one thing I will call out, which is the last thing I forgot to mention, is when you are using Gmail, you have to go into your settings and turn on less secure apps. That just basically lets Gmail know that you're okay to go ahead and do this. But if you don't want to do that, you can always go ahead and use a different SMTP server, whether it's your own domain name or whether it's a different server that doesn't require that. There's also um, other ways you can get around it, which, re which is a little bit more complicated and a little bit more complex that uses OAuth authentication. And you're going to have to go in to Google. You're going to go have to, you're going to have to create an app, I believe, and either you're going to get an API secret ID and client ID or something around those lines that you got to go ahead and put into your code. You can do that as well. And there's, uh, there's like I said, plenty of uh, tutorials online. I may even post one up later on as well. But for people that are just looking to start out and get some insight on how to even send emails, or if you have an email list that you want to blast some emails to, this is a great way to get started. So guys, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye. <laughs>